in regarding to a question uh, pertain to a person who had with mental health assessment. So I'm gonna um, explain to this person during the lunchtime, um, during my lunch break at work, and then we will kind of go over the mental health assessment again. Um, and hopefully um, my explanation will be able to satisfy this person's question. Okay, I will see you after a couple hours. So the person was asking, I was talking a lot about mental health assessment and how to interact with client, how to talk with client, but I didn't give a specific answer of how to utilize those mental health assessment and what kind of paperwork need to be required to do a mental health assessment. So I want to clarify here because mental health assessment is a very comprehensive service. But depending on which um, which agency you are working for, and then they will give you a different um, different set of a requirement. So every county, every city, every state has their own requirement in terms of how to write a mental health assessment. Um, therefore, I don't think I can give you a correct answer. Um, um, what type of mental health assessment or the tool or paperwork that they need to do. But I can give you a very brief, brief simple definition or how I think every agency should work. So basically, you should get a package and the package is supposed to have all of your client's information, the past psychiatric history, the past medical history. So those are the things that they should have, okay? With all those basic information, you cannot conduct a mental health assessment. I hope that answers your question. And I really appreciate that you sent a private message. So basically you interact with client initially and you need to do a, a I would say soft, a warm handout, meaning that the previous behavior health case manager will introduce you to this client. And you bring the paperwork, you kind of do your courtesy check with the client. And then that paper was supposed to contain all those um, file information about client's history, what is client's uh, information, what, what kind of diagnosis that is, and then what kind of medication they're taking. So those are the type of thing that you usually should be including um, with your initial assessment. Hope that answer your question. So that's a package and you should get uh, because based on if you are the case manager or if you are the clinical case manager, you should be able to kind of knowing what client need when you go uh, visit this client, right? So that's 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 what the component, what is content on the mental health assessment. And of course, there's like I say, uh, they should have a suicidal assessment, including on that package. And they, they should also include in those moon evaluation just to check how the client is doing when you're first doing kind of initial uh, assessment. And there's a bunch of document like release of information should be included. Um, uh, uh, adver adverse directive, events directive should be included. And some of their financial information in relation to ACSI should be included. Um, and then there's all the different types of information such as, like I said, client's past hospitalization history, their discharge history, their interaction with different psychiatrists and case manager before, their previous, uh, um, their previous um, targeting goal for the next six to six months, or last year's, uh, last year's diagnosis history. And then they should be have, um, mostly many different types of paperwork that is kind of confidential with client. So those are the things that should be including um, on your initial mental health assessment. And then there should be some like very basic demographic information maybe relating to their housing, 
um, relating to um, who will be the emergency contact, um, who will be a person um, if the client is not able to make their own decision. So those are the, the thing that the mental health uh, uh, initial assessment should be including is should be a package. So I hope that answer your question. Um, like I say, if you guys have any other questions, you can always ask. Um, like I say, mental health assessment is just a comprehensive service. Um, every three months, six months, there should be an update. There's a Lucas score. Uh, it's a comprehensive uh, evaluation on clients' behavior, their mental health symptoms, their mental health status, and all that. So those are um, a very um, a common mental health assessment that should be including on um, the package. So I hope that answered your question. Um, thank you for sending a private message and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Stay safe.